Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very exciting, at least to me, because I bought some new products from Rare Beauty, which if you don't know what that is, you probably don't <laughs> watch makeup YouTube usually because literally everyone has done this video already, but I don't care because I need to try the products for myself and see how they work on dry, like, maturing skin so yeah i bought almost everything in the line except for the products that i don't use anyway so i feel like i don't need to review things that i don't use because i don't know how they compare to other products of the same theme or whatever you know what i mean so yeah um i think we'll just get started but i wanted to actually it's for my own purpose really because I haven't looked at like the background of the brand like um, all I know is it's by Selena Gomez and like honestly I I had to google Selena Gomez when this brand launched because um, I mean I knew who she was I heard of her before I don't live under a rock but I don't know like what her music is but like it's the kind of thing where once you hear it you're like oh that song but i never knew it was by her anyway so yeah i googled her basically in case you didn't know she got famous from like when she was younger she was on like the disney channel show and i think that's why i don't really know who she is because in canada we don't have disney channel at least i didn't have it when i was younger so i never saw her show but anyway, and then she obviously became a huge star and a singer. So yeah, and um, apparently like when this brand launched, some people in the beauty community were like, oh, another celebrity brand. But this one actually like really caught my eye and I feel like the people behind it are very um, conscious of like current beauty trends and like, what people are looking for and I think that's why it's been like so successful um, but yeah I just wanted to read what it says on the Rare Beauty um, website which you, yeah you can look at it yourself but I wanted it for me too to have a bit of a background so I'm just gonna read the little first blurb on the About Us page so it says, Rare Beauty is breaking down unrealistic standards of perfection. This is makeup made to feel good in, without hiding what makes you unique. Because Rare Beauty is not about being someone else, but being who you are. So I really like the idea of that. And I like how that speaks about the brand because these are products that... I'm, I use the term natural, like loosely because obviously it's like a whole makeup line it's like blush and lip product and for some people that's not natural but for like other products on the market it is a more like natural beauty kind of look like it's very soft and sheer and luminous and those are things that I love in makeup so that's why I was really intrigued by this brand and I wanted to there's something about um, how she's donating money and I feel like I want to know what that is. If you go on the website under the Rare Impact um, section, it says supporting the mental health of our community, employees and partners is core to everything we do. By celebrating our uniqueness and supporting each other, we aim to reduce the stigma associated with talking about mental health and to reduce feelings of loneliness. That's like so interesting to hear from a makeup brand. I think that's really cool. So yeah, there's a Rare Impact Fund and it says the goal of the Rare Impact Fund is to raise 100 million over the next 10 years to help address the gaps in mental health services for underserved communities. 100 million, that's crazy. So yeah, like I said, it's been doing really well so far so I'm sure they're gonna reach their goal. Um, Actually, a lot of the products are sold out online and in stores, so I hope what I talk about today you can actually, you can get because 
Um, I went to two different Sephora stores to find something that I'll tell you about and it was like completely out of stock and these are like huge like city stores and yeah they told me like they didn't even know when it was coming back so yeah anyway I hope this video will be helpful um yes so let's just get started so the first thing I got I just got a mini size of the Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer. This is the packaging and I really love how it looks. It feels very like high-end and like clean and I don't know if you can tell on camera or if anyone cares except me <laughs> but it's like that packaging that feels like material. I don't know, maybe if I do this, you'll know what I mean. Anyway, it just feels really nice. So I was really happy that they have a mini of the primer. I wish they had a mini of the setting spray because I definitely don't need any new setting spray and I didn't get that product, but I did get this. Um, and this one I did open because some of this stuff I bought in store because they had it and the rest I bought online. So this one I opened already. Um, this is the mini primer. This looks very Fenty Beauty-esque to me. Um, and I really like that it's that kind of packaging where when you start pumping it out, the bottom will go up so you'll know like how much you have left. At least that's, I'm assuming that's what it does because that's how it looks on the bottom here. So yeah um this how much is this this is 15 ml and yeah so the small size is 15 ml for 18 dollars the big one is 28 ml for 34. so it's kind of worth it to get the little one sometimes the difference between price of the big one and the small one is so minimal but that sounds not so bad and if you're like a makeup collector like I am, you probably don't need another primer. So especially an, an illuminating one, I mean, that's not very unique to the market, but I have heard really good things. So let me just put it on and stop talking. I'm gonna start with one pump. So yes, it is a pump. So that's how much you get with one pump. You can tell right away that it has like a pearly finish. It smells like primer. It feels like a moisturizer, honestly. It's not like sticky or anything. I think I could put a little more, maybe not a full pump, just that, that much. I already had my skincare on, by the way. So, my face wasn't too dry, hopefully. By the way, if you can hear um, men yelling in the background, <laughs> it's because um, it's football season officially, so Josh's friends are over watching football. And even though the door's closed, I can still hear it. I hope it's not coming across on camera. Okay, so I like how that did give me a glow, but not like a super metallic one. Um, so that's good. And I think even if you had oily skin, you would probably like this because it doesn't feel too oily or greasy or anything. So that was the primer. Oh, I, I should say something about it, right? It says, a weightless universal gel primer enriched with ultra-fine pearls for a, lip with, for a lip from within glow. Yes, it is, it was like a gel cream kind of texture. And I got the foundation, of course. This is like the product I was the most intrigued by because it just sounds like something that I would really like. I'm just a little concerned about the shade because she did come out with 48 shades, which is really good. But when there's so many shades of a foundation, 
and there's usually more like light to medium shades than anything uh, it's really hard <laughs> to find the one that would go for you so that's why I went to store for this this is the first time I'm opening this actually this is the packaging it's so nice and it's like soft touch kind of feel but not like um not like that rubbery texture like NARS or anything like that. It's very soft. And actually this ball, I found this out from watching like other reviews. I've pretty much watched like every review on YouTube of this product before I bought it. But um, so this ball is so that people with arthritis can open the product without like hurting their hand because when it's like um, a regular product they have to do this sometimes because of their joints but the ball they can just do that I thought that was like really interesting but yeah so I did go to store to find my shade because the shade finder on Sephora is really not that helpful <laughs> because obviously you have to they have to match you to another product that exists at Sephora and for me the only other foundation I have that you can buy at Sephora is the Makeup Forever and I actually have the Makeup Forever Water Blend and the Reboot but I didn't remember what shade I had in the Reboot so anyway I said uh, Makeup Forever R210 and it told me that I should get the lightest shade of the 48 shades and that's 100W and it looks like white so I was like there's no way that's my shade. So anyway, I went to the store. As you guys know, we're in the pandemic and you can't swatch things at Sephora anymore. Um, and the people that work there can't put anything on you. So they put it on like a clear palette and they hold it up to your face kind of thing. And she tried like a bunch and it was between this one, which is 150C. And the C stands for cool, I'm pretty sure. So it's like a cool undertone. Um, so it's between this one or 180W, which is warm. And she said like the 180W was probably the closest match to my skin. But if that, she said like if that's, if you have like a tan right now, I mean, not that I have a tan ever, but she said like maybe this one would be the best because not that I have a tan but I was like outside recently and I went camping and I do feel like I got a bit of sun so and now that we're heading into fall I decided to get 150C but honestly looking at this now <laughs> it looks very light so I'm a little concerned but anyway so this um, foundation is like one that you have to shake because it's more like a serum -y texture. So if I shake, you can hear it. There's a ball. So it's like a nail polish that you have to like shake up to mix everything together. So it's that kind of formula. So let's shake it good. But when you open it, it is actually a doe foot. So a lot of people aren't really... Um, they don't love doe foots because they're like, well, you put it on your face and then you put it back in the bottle, but I don't really care, to be honest. I kind of like the fact that I don't have to touch it with my hands. Like, I can just put it right on my face. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And mm, it doesn't look that light, the, like the actual product. So we'll see. And I'm going in with a really small amount to start because that's how I feel like Selena Gomez does it. And I did get the uh, Liquid Touch brush, the foundation brush, uh, because honestly, Mariah Leonard sold this to me when I watched her video. <laughs> The way she just went like, and it applied so nicely, I was like, what? I need that. So I did get the brush. I didn't get the sponge because um, no one seemed to like it and I don't, 
really need a sponge, so I didn't get it. The shape looks really cool though. I just heard like the texture is too porous. So this is how the brush looks. Oh, it feels very soft. It just looks like something you want to put foundation on with. Um, so let me just go ahead and blend. Oh yeah. Um, it is light. <laughs> It's not too bad, but imagine if I went with 100, like, no, I'm not that pale. This is so soft on the face and so easy to blend. Okay, well, so far I can see the light. Maybe if I turn this off. I can see the foundation, like, on my skin. Um, which is usually what happens with this kind of formula where it's like serum-y. It's like the, the, um, the liquid part of the formula gets absorbed right into my skin and then the pigment stays on the top. Um, I think that's like a problem a lot of people with dry skin have with this kind of formula. But it doesn't look horrible, it's just something that I noted. And I probably, yeah, I probably could have gone with a shade darker. But we are going into fall and I'm never going to see the light of day again. So it's not too horrible. So I didn't say much about the foundation, what it, at least like from the official box it says a foundation elixir that feels barely there while building coverage and boosting your natural glow so yeah i mean it does it does feel barely there i'm going to use like a tiny bit more just where i have some redness but definitely don't want to use too much it does say buildable but since I can already see it on my skin, I don't really want to add too much product. This brush is amazing. <laughs> That's what I'll say for now. I It just feels so nice on the face. And sometimes with this formula, it doesn't look that great when I first apply it, but it starts to wear better throughout the day. So that could be something. So, um, I'm actually going to wear this for like the rest of the day and come back later to do a check-in because um, I really like when people do wear tests of foundation especially when it's like a first impression because you never know like it could go horribly wrong in some instance yeah it's definitely clinging I'll turn this off again it's definitely clinging to my dry patch right here on my nose, which I didn't see before. So just something to note. But it, I do look pretty glowy, don't I? Okay, I'm just gonna turn this back on. I know it doesn't help the look, but I can't see what I'm doing otherwise. Okay. And obviously you can still see my freckles and a bit of redness coming through. It's not supposed to be a full coverage foundation anyway, but yeah. We'll see how that goes throughout the day. For the concealer, I actually didn't get the concealer because I have so many concealers right now. There was a time not too long ago where I had no concealers like I finished one and didn't have any other and then they just came like in boxy charms and all kinds of things and now I have more than I'll ever need but I did get this um, concealer sample card when I bought some of the products in the store and I think the best 
shade for me is going to be the lightest one, which is 160C. At least it's the lightest one in the sample. So the foundation was 150C, but I'm going to use 160C under the eye. But I think it will be okay. There's also a concealer brush in the line that looks a lot like the foundation brush but smaller but i already have a concealer brush that i like so i didn't get it but anyway i got some of the concealer on my thumb so i'm just gonna put that down here and get out my brush that i can use and the brush is the um sephora pro airbrush detail this one here that I use for concealer. So I just, I'm starting with that tiny amount that I had on my thumb. Everything is so easy to blend. That's what I've noticed so far. And I like it. I like this concealer so far. Just gonna take a tiny bit more on the brush to get like right where I have more discoloration. It's very light, like it's not full coverage at all. It feels a lot like the foundation, actually. I think that was a good color. Even though like it's technically a shade darker than the foundation, is it? I mean, supposedly, it's more like, it looked like it had a more pink tone, so, it helps to like brighten the under eye a bit. Let me put some on this dry patch. I'm just gonna have to get rid of it. I'm gonna put some of the concealer on my nose. And just like in the usual places. Yeah, so if you're someone that likes to do your makeup with brushes, um, it's working really well so far. Some formulas, when you use a brush, um, you just like see all the streaks, but this one is um, looking good. I have a huge dry patch on my nose. So just ignore that. <laughs> and I'm just like doing a bit of spot concealing with the same concealer. So now that the foundation is um, settled a bit, I can see like it, um, not that it's accentuating my pores, but it's like settling in them. Let me see if you can tell. Yeah, like you can see that here. So that was actually what was happening to me with the Flower Beauty Light Illusion and that's why I gave it to my mom <laughs> to see if she likes it. It's looking very similar to that actually. Okay, let's just, I need to stop like fiddling with it and just let it sit and see um, how it looks. But um, I don't know if it's the primer but I look very glowy right now, which I like. Oh, and then I went on a journey to find this freaking blush. So everyone's like raving about these, um, the soft pinch liquid blushes. There's a dewy version, there's four shades, and then there's four shades of the matte version. Um, the two shades I wanted, one was Joy, and it's the one everyone on YouTube has because it's like the most kind of, it's like the shade that's in right now. It's like a coral, like peachy kind of shade. And that was a dewy one. And then I wanted Bliss, which is the light pink one from the matte side. But they were all sold out everywhere, even online. And this one was the last color they had in store that looked like it could work for me. So I got this one. Cause I, this is like the product I wanted to try the most, like other than the foundation, it was the blush. So I was like, I'm just gonna get it. So I got the shade Love. This is the packaging. So it's a lot like the 
foundation except the like round thing is flat like it's not an actual ball um so i know this looks pretty dark and these are supposedly extremely pigmented like even the person at sephora was like use a tiny dot <laughs> and um yeah probably with a sponge so i'm going to do that right now but i do like this shade i mean i I already have so many coral, peach, those kind of shade of blushes anyway, so I thought it'd be fun to try something else. And I think this would be nice for fall. It's more like a warm kind of vibe. Um, I'm kind of scared to be honest. And how am I going to blend this? I didn't even get my sponge wet. Okay, so I think I'm going to try to blend it out first with this e.l.f. Um, airbrush stipple brush because that's what I normally use for liquid or cream blushes if it goes really badly I have my damp sponge ready so let's just do this I'm really taking like I'm wiping off the product first of all inside because um, there's a lot that came off on the tip and by the way these are ugh, this is also a doe foot applicator, like the foundation. So I'm gonna wipe off the excess. And I'm scared. <laughs> okay. That's literally what I'm doing, okay? Because I watch a lot of videos and some of them were kind of scary. Oh dear. <laughs> Did I say this is a matte one? Um, normally I would go for a dewy blush, but like I said, none of the shades would work for me other than this one. So like you saw how that tiny dot, I still got all that color which I'm not mad at but just to show you you really don't need to use too much I kind of like this shade actually it's almost like a burnt red kind of and I'm just like sweeping it across my whole face like I normally do I think I like this It didn't seem to like disrupt the foundation or concealer, which is good. And even though it's a matte, I'm still glowing. It must be the primer. Part of me wants to put a bit more just to see, but I'm scared and I don't want to mess anything up. So <laughs> we'll just leave it like that. I think it looks really nice and natural though. So that was the shade Love, if I didn't say that already. And these say, a long-lasting liquid blush that blends and builds beautifully for a soft, healthy flush. So we'll see if it's long-lasting too. Because a lot of cream blushes that I've been trying, I feel like my skin just like eats them and you can't see them after. So we'll see how that goes. And this brush is so good too. It's not Rare Beauty, but if you ever see this e.l.f. brush anywhere, I recommend it. The next thing I was really not going to get, but I just, I kept watching more and more videos and people at first were saying they hated it. And I was like, oh good, I don't, I'm not going to get it then. But then I saw a lot of people saying they loved it. So this is the Positive Light Liquid Luminizer. This is the highlighter. There's eight shades and they're all crazy. Like there's no, I feel like the shades of the highlighter are weird. Like 
compared to the other products in the line because like we like I said in the beginning, it's like a soft, natural vibe. But the highlighters are like gold, pink. It's like, what? <laughs> so I got this shade Mesmerize because um, this is apparently the one Selena Gomez likes. And it's like a rose gold. So this is the packaging. And the highlighter is huge, like compared, this is the foundation, the highlighter is almost the same size, and the blush is smaller than the highlighter, so, I don't know, interesting choice, but it has the same top as the foundation, and it will have the same, yeah, the doe foot applicator, like the blush. So yeah, like I said, it's kind of like a rose gold. It looks really pretty. I was worried it'd be a bit too deep for me, but I, looking at it now in person, it looks like it's gonna work. And um, the lightest shade of the highlighter is like white, like, yeah. So normally I do go for like a more champagne-y shade, but I don't like super icy highlighters either so that's why i went with this one so this does it say how to apply it it says a silky second skin liquid highlighter that creates a lasting lit from within glow did i already say that <laughs> i think what i'm going to do is put it on with the applicator and then i'm going to use my sponge I'm just gonna wipe off the excess like I did with the blush because I'm scared. I did two dots on each side and then I'll use my uh, Real Techniques sponge. So people said like either they were like oh it's too subtle or they didn't like how it mixed with the base product yeah I don't know how I feel about this I don't know if you can see that let's turn this down again but it kind of lifted the foundation right there and yeah this is doing like the um, iconic London drops do if you put them down and then try to sponge it, the sponge kind of just pushes the pigment and it doesn't actually blend it out. So that's why I use my finger with those, which I think I should have done with this. Because it's like not wanting to blend out. I think I don't like it. It looks like I mean, it looks good on camera, but I don't know if you can even see what I'm talking about. You can't really see on camera. <laughs> it looks like it blended out really well, but when I look in my mirror, it looks like it didn't mix with the foundation. Oh, you can kind of see it here. I'll have to try out, try that out some more. But let's see how it goes. I'm actually gonna put this on my finger directly. Put a bit on the nose. I don't know. I don't love this so far, at least not with um, the base, which I should technically because they're in the same line. They should work together. So that's all I got for the complexion products. Um, there was also like a duo um, blotting papers and a little powder puff thing. I never use those kind of products because my skin is so dry I never blot anything. So I didn't get that and I think that's it. 
I didn't get that. The uh, setting spray. Oh, and the brow product. I didn't get the brow product because I don't use those kind of pencils. Um, so yeah, I'll do my brows off camera and just put like a little something on my eyes because there's no um, eyeshadow in the line yet. But I did see a sneak peek that I think that's what's coming next probably for around holidays. Um, but yeah, I'll do that off camera and I'll come back to tell you about the two lip products. I am back. I um, just used my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. Just like very light shimmery kind of look. And I used my usual Essence Make Me Brow and the e.l.f. Brow Gel. And for mascara, I used the Voluminous Slash Paradise. And that's all I did. She did come out with two lip products. She came out with Dewy Lip Balms. They're called With Gratitude Dewy Lip Balm. And the Lip Souffle Matte Lip Creams. So I got one of each. For the balm, I got the shade Thankful. This is the packaging of the balm. It's like flat on this side and round on the other. Very interesting. I think there's some like inconsistencies in the packaging of these because I was watching, I think it was Raw Beauty Christy. Um, her lip balm, like the cap barely would stay on and she could do this and it would move. And like, Mine just moved a little, but I had to like really go Psh! So I don't know what's up with that. Mine feels pretty sturdy and it does, it. it's like, it wants to be magnetic, but it's very weak. The, the magnetic factor is very weak. Anyway, so maybe if you put this in your purse, I don't know. This might be okay. I don't know. Anyway, like I said, I got the shade Thankful. It's actually quite a dark shade. And from what I've seen, these are very pigmented. So I'm going to put this on first, but I might take it off to put the lip souffle on because I don't really want to mix the two. Oh, that is very soft. very soft like it already like went outside my lip line when I did that I really like the shade of that for fall that's why I got this one actually there's a lot of nice shades but this one looked more fall appropriate so that's the shade thankful on me it's like um a terracotta kind of shade. It's not too brown. It has a bit of red in it, I guess. It feels really nice on the lips. But yeah, this is really like a lipstick, a sheer lipstick, I would say. So I'm just gonna blot it a bit. Yeah, the color, I just blotted it with a tissue and the color is really on there. So if you wanted a sheer lipstick, maybe just get one of those. Did I say what shade? Yeah, I did. Thankful. With Gratitude, with Gratitude Dewy Lip Balm. That's what it's called. And then in the Lip Souffle, I got the shade Brave. So these are described as a whipped lip cream that delivers comfortable one-stroke color with vivid velvety finish. And what I like about the lip souffle is that the color is on the packaging it's really nice and it feels soft like the other packaging does so this shade i thought would be an again nice for fall it's like a terracotta i think i just said that about this but this is more orange so that's what it looks like it feels very moussey mm -hmm. this feels so 
interesting. It's very slippery. So I don't know how it would hold up throughout the day, but we'll find out. I really like that color. So I think I ended up doing good with the blush and the rest of the products. Like the colors look pretty good together, so I'm excited. I'm very interested to see how this will dry down because right now it feels like it's just gonna slip around everywhere. So I'll do a wear test on this as well. I'm probably gonna eat like right after this, so we'll see how it holds up. Yeah, so that was all the products I got. Like I said, I didn't get the setting spray, um, which is fine because I actually need to use up this one, the Watermelon Glow. I'm gonna put some of that on just to see. I'm already very dewy and glowy. So that was my Rare Beauty first impressions. I look pretty glowy. <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely need to wear this one more and see. But like I said, in like when I first put it on, it kind of settled into my pores here. And that tends to happen um, with very like dewy, liquidy foundations anyway so not necessarily that this is not a good foundation that's just how those formulas work on my skin um but i don't look very cakey or anything yeah it definitely looked more makeupy when i first put it on and now it looks better but yeah just the pore area is kind of like um the blush i love it <laughs> but like you saw, I, I didn't even use like a dab of the sponge, I used like a dot on each cheek and I still got enough color for me and I blended it across my whole face so be very careful with those. The lip products, I like both the shades that I got but like I said, they feel very um, slippery so we'll see how they dry down. But so far so good oh and the highlighter um it looks better now and it looks pretty good on camera but yeah it was when i first put it on it was not looking so good um so i'd like to try it with like other products too to see how it works uh because the sheen looks so pretty in the bottle but it just I don't know, I, when I use highlighter, I like it to be very smooth and like it looks seamless with the rest of my face. So we'll have to see about this one. But yeah, I hope that gave you an idea of how these products work for, well, for my skin, which is dry. Let me know below if you guys were interested in this, if you picked up anything already or what you maybe want to pick up. And yeah, like I said, I hope it was helpful. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, and I will be back later to do a check-in. So stay tuned for that. I'll be back. Bye. So I wanted to show you um, what this looks like in front of a window in natural lighting. Um, I just look very dewy <laughs> and I did not use a ton of foundation so you can see like it's pretty sheer um, but that's how I like to apply foundation so yeah you can still see freckles, redness, everything so if you were wondering if it's a buildable foundation this is what it looks like with a light amount um, but supposedly it is buildable to like a medium coverage. So, I don't know if you can see, it just, my pores look very pronounced and usually they don't, so that's just something to note. Um, 
Yeah, my nose doesn't look the best because it's flaky always. <laughs> um, the highlighter, like I said, it kind of, and it looks better now than it did when I first applied it. It's like it, it mixed together the formulas. The concealer, very lightweight, very, very minimal coverage. You can still see like my under eye circles. <laughs> But yeah, I really like this lip color. It feels really nice. It dried down a little, but it's still slippery. It almost feels like a silicone primer on your lips, if that makes sense. But yeah, I will check in later to show you how it wore. Okay, so it's been, um, oh, well, I unfortunately forgot to check what time it was when I put the foundation on, but I think it was around 3.30 when I um, cut the last clip, so it's been almost six hours. It's 9.06 right now, so yeah, like five and a half hours of wear time. Um, I think you can tell <laughs> that I'm very dewy. This light is very bright. If it turns off, no, no, it's too dark. Um, yeah, you can see I'm very dewy. Um, what I find really interesting is the concealer. It looks like very seamless with the rest of my face in that it's also dewy like under my eye. Um, but it also didn't crease. And I find that very surprising. I think you can, um, it does look a bit like makeup-y here where my pores are the most accentuated, but usually when I use um, a formula, like for a concealer especially, that's more dewy and serum-y, I have creasing in my fine lines, but I don't have any. I think it broke up a little, like in this area, but it didn't like um, separate in a bad way. Like it doesn't look like it cracked anywhere. It's just very, like it wore really nicely. And like I thought um, in the beginning when I said it's probably a formula that looks better as the day goes on, and I think that's true. So I am pretty happy with this. I don't think I would recommend this for like a wedding or like an event where you have to look very, you know what I'm trying to say? Where you have, like where you, you don't want to worry that your makeup is going to come off your face, especially if you're oily. If I look like this now and I have super dry skin, like I can't imagine someone with oily skin what they would look like. Um, I did use the primer, so maybe that's what's like really giving the the shine, but it didn't really look that shiny when I first put it on. But yeah, um, overall I'm pretty happy with this. I wasn't sure how, it would, how I was going to feel about it uh, because like I said before, when there's like a more serum-y texture of foundation, it can go pretty badly on my skin but this one is one of the better ones. So, and my face doesn't feel like sticky or tacky or anything. And I was wearing my glasses all day, so you can see like the red mark, but you don't see like a ring of product, which sometimes happens. So yeah, I really like this, I think. And I like that I didn't use a lot of product. I think if I had used, more than I did, I probably wouldn't like it. So I only put like one, two, three, four, like five dots of foundation. The blush, you can't really tell in this lighting. Yeah, maybe, but I can still see that it's there. It wore really nicely. And the highlighter got a lot better with time. Uh, I really wasn't sure about it when I first put it on, but it seems to have somehow mesh together with the other products and I kind of like it now. <laughs> uh, 
I'd like to see how it works with a different foundation or even like on a day where I'm not wearing foundation because sometimes I just do like concealer and like like other cream products so I'd like to try like that too and yeah so I'll probably update you guys in future videos but for now um yeah I like it so that's it see you in my next one bye